When you're reading uh, scientific articles, uh, one of the important things that you should be keeping in mind is you should be thinking about what is the source of the information that I'm reading. And one of the factors that you need to consider with that is whether the source, whether the place of the information is coming from, is what we would call a primary source or a secondary source. When we say that the source of the information is a primary source, what we mean really is that this is the original place where the information comes from. So for example, if uh, the author of the article that you're reading is describing the research that they themselves have done. So for example, it's a research report and they're saying in this study, we got these participants together, we exposed them to the, this particular treatment, and here are the results that we found. That is an author uh, describing their own study, their own research. They uh, directly experienced that. So a primary source, another way of putting this is, it's something that is describing the author's uh, direct experience. So it's original, in other words, this is the place where it originated from. The, the source you're looking at is the original source. It is directly from the author's own experience. Another way of putting this is, this is a first-hand report. Now the other possibility is that it's a secondary source, and hopefully you can already see where this is going. Secondary source is not original, right? This is not where the information originally came from. In other words, it is um, it is a report. The author of the article is reporting um, on someone else's work, so it's a report of someone else's else's research or someone else's ideas or theory. In other words, it's secondary. It's a reproduction of something that was originally from elsewhere. Another way of putting this is it is a second hand report. So if, for example, you're reading a review article, an article that is reviewing the research in a field that's saying, Here's what these authors did. Here's what those researchers over there did. Here's a general trend in the field. Uh, a great deal of that information is going to be secondary. It's going to be information that originally comes from elsewhere, but that is being pulled together and repeated in this one place. So secondary sources are really useful, but they're not where the information originally comes from. Now, why this matters is because what this means is anytime it is not the original source of the information, there's some possibility that that something has been lost. You know, we have we have some different people uh, playing. Uh, if you've ever played the telephone game, right, where you whisper something to one person in line and they pass that message on to the next person, and that person whispers it to the next person. Um, obviously, this person is the primary person. That means primary. This is the secondary person. This is the tertiary person. Tertiary means the third person in line. Uh, you don't have to remember those how that's written. But the, the point is that at each step of the way, as we go from primary source over here, primary source to secondary source to tertiary source, uh, as it goes down the line, there's always some risk that information is being lost. And this is why people play the telephone game. The, the point is that when the message starts, it's one thing. When it gets to the end of the line and the person repeats the message, it's often been substantially altered from what the original message was. And that can be because uh, you know when, when someone reproduces information given by someone else, they may forget something that person said, or they may have to select certain aspects of it. 
and so they may give it a different spin from how it originally sounded. There's all kinds of potential for things to get distorted and changed over time or important details to be left out. So secondary sources are fine, they're great, there's nothing wrong with them, but if you're doing your research, it's important if, if you're relying on some fact that you're reading in the secondary source, or in particular, if you're going to reproduce that in your own study, it's important to trace it back to its source to verify that it is what it seems to be and that you're faithfully uh, capturing what it originally meant. So if this is the original author here, original, let's say original, whoops, original author, right? In other words, this is the primary source and then that gets passed right to the secondary source. Uh, let's say, let me actually just give this person a name. Let's say this is a researcher named Jane Doe. And then John Smith writes an article and John Smith cites Jane Doe. He talks about Jane Doe's work and he cites that original author in his work. And then you, you, this is you over here, right? You go to write your article and you read up on John Smith's work. If John Smith is just repeating Jane Doe, you don't want to cite, you don't want to do this. You don't want to cite John Smith, right? That would be, that would be a bad thing to do. You want to directly go back and cite Jane Doe and say, this is where the information originally comes from. Now, if this, you know, secondary author, if John Smith has added something or discussed it in an interesting way that's different from what Jane Doe had originally discussed, or he's just explained it in a way that you'd like to quote word for word, there's nothing wrong with doing that. You just need to be aware that if you're just, if there isn't something original that John Smith has added, you should be going back to the original source. Otherwise, you're, you're introducing extra layers um, which can distort the information or change the information in an unnecessary way. So those are just some things to be aware of when you're putting your research together, especially for your research proposal, in terms of how will this really impact you. If I'm reading your research proposal and it's very obvious that you're quoting something from a review article over and over and over again without ever having traced it back to its original source, I might talk to you about that and say, you really should be quoting the original author here.